Hello, all. Um, I was recently invited down to uh, Heritage's auction to view the treasure chest and uh, just wanted to uh, share the experiences of my trip and uh, some pictures with everyone. So on last Thursday morning, I get this email in my uh, in my inbox. Um, so I'm down in I'm, I wasn't home in Minnesota. I was down in Columbus setting up for an art show and this pops in and I'm like, holy crap, how in the world am I, I mean, am I going to go to this? So um, it's Thursday. Um, so on the next following Monday is when I needed to be in Dallas. So this was going to be logis logistically challenging, but I decided I wanted to do it and figure it out. So step one was permission. <laughs> So I uh, I sent this text message to my wife, and uh, within like a minute, I got the response that said go. So we got that taken care of. So the next thing was working out how I was going to line up flights. Um, what I ended up doing was Sunday when the show ended, um, I tore down and I had about a five hour drive back towards home, but I stopped in Chicago and grabbed a flight so this is um these are the rest of the crew that got um not everyone this isn't everyone that got invited but this is the people that could make it so we have uh left right is Jens um this guy probably isn't um too well known his name is Dan he goes by full press in uh discord and and YouTube me of course uh Nemo if you haven't met Nemo, um, he's he's around. He likes to play poker. And on we have a group that plays on Poker Stars, and he's also been World Series of Fan a few times. And um, met him a couple other times. Sam, again, another poker player. K-Pro, of course, everybody knows K-Pro. And Rudy, the famous Rudy. Picture behind us here with the uh, the glass, one of the glass cases with the chest. So here is a close up of of the chest. Sorry about the glare. Um, it was, of course, challenging taking a picture through glass. Here is the left side. Close up of the front. This is from this is the back. And I wanted to get a picture of the right side but because of the way the chest was in there, it was really difficult to do. So I this was the best I could do. And if you check out this little gem in the lower left here, the dragon bracelet, absolutely amazing. And I think that's my next, oh, I got this picture, of me pointing at it. And here's the dragon bracelet. This is just, a, you can't even describe it with words. This picture doesn't even do it justice um, to be there. It is it is huge to think this would probably go on a on a woman's uh, uh, wrist. It would be it would definitely take center stage. Um, of course, the, the olive jar and with some of the medium sized nuggets behind it. Uh, I believe these are, are these bracelets. I can't remember what these were. And of course, one of the gold frogs. Um, I was able to get some close-up pictures of the text, and I do know that some have already reversed it, and so you can kind of kind of read it. I I haven't really looked, paid attention to see what it what it does say, but some pictures from the side, so you could get a little bit of the text on the inside bottom of the olive jar. Um, when you walked in to the right, there was three large cases um, with uh, with the slabs. So here's a bunch of the coins, um, gold dust, and and some of the nuggets. Here's another case. It's got, I believe, this one had mostly nuggets and a little bit of gold dust. And then the last case had coins these were not all the coins obviously there's hundreds and it was like over like 275 coins or something like that i mean it just there was 
there was no way to get all the coins to, for them to display all the coins in the room. So they put out a, a real good example of everything. It was really fun to, to see it all in one place. And um and to think all this was was in that that chest, I mean, just amazing. A uh, picture of Jens. This is me taking a picture of Jens, taking a picture of the Olajar. And there was, I believe it was Sam was behind me taking a picture of me, taking a picture of Jens, taking a picture of the Olajar. So we were laughing. Um, This uh, necklace here, the forest made these. This is really quite neat to see in person. I, I The picture online, I'm like, yeah, but to see it in person is really something. Of course, down here are the, the gold mirrors. Um, just wanted to get this is just kind of side view looking down the case. Oh, the the mysterious scissors <laughs> that are now um over, I believe they're over seven hundred dollars in the auction currently. They're actually smaller than um they're really small, but then that makes sense because for uh, for fishing scissors they they are they don't need to be big, so they're really tiny scissors. One of the nuggets. Just a bunch of us. Um, I just, I had, we were supposed to kind of be careful not to take pictures of too much other stuff than, than just the, um, just the forest fen treasure. Of course, that was kind of difficult when the pictures are behind it, but so most of my pictures are facing, are, are facing the, the cases, but you can see over here on the right, the lower cases with all the coins and then the tall case here with the rest of the treasure. Rudy, with his shirt, ask me about my stick. And he's got some pretty good stories about that. And if you don't know what he's talking about, this is a replica of the um, stick that was found in the treasure chest that Jack threw to the side. Now, if you want to know more about how that was made, You'll have to ask Rudy. I'll leave that to be his story. This is a picture of me trying to eat the treasure chest. <laughs> it it was it was disappointing that it that it had to remain behind the glass. Um, you know, but I but it's understandably, you know, they can't um knowing that there's they don't know how many people are gonna be coming in. I mean, yes, there was only a certain amount avoided for today but there's going to be people coming throughout throughout this week um so i think they just had to set some rules and guidelines and there was no opening the oh no opening the glass to uh to view any of the items and the picture of rudy this was outside heritage when we were i think this is when we were leaving and of course this is when the shenanigans started um we went out for Happy hour right after. And this is Capro fooling Ben that we all got free coins. Nemo brought some some coins that he actually bought from Heritage like a week or two ago. And um, so we were having fun with Ben. And then this is Ben's reaction. Love you, Ben. Oh, and I made him hold um, a, a plate of fried pickles. And if you don't know, Ben doesn't currently like pickles um after the um after happy hour we went back to the embassy suites where ben was staying and we got ourselves some poker chips and got a poker game going and i got a little fun story i want to tell about the uh the trip to walmart to get the poker chips with um with i was so nemo Sam were in the front seat. Nemo was driving. It was his car. Me and Jens are in the back. And we're coming into the parking lot. And we had to wait. There's a guy in front of us that was waiting for a parking place. So she was waiting for the someone to back out. And there was a car behind us that was impatient and come and just couldn't wait. And they come down our left side and their mirror hit Nemo's mirror and about ripped it off of Nemo's car. And uh, so they stopped the windows rolled down 
And uh, so Nemo, it's his car. He's actually calm. Sam yells at the lady, what the hell are you doing? And like, oh my God, here we go. So Nemo's going to go and get out so they can take a look at the damage when the truck that's in front of us doesn't see that we're stopped there and backs into us. So we lay on the horn. So now in the side of inside of 10 seconds, Nemo has got his car hit from the side and the front. And um, in the end, not really much damage was done. Um, they exchanged numbers, but I don't think Nemo has said he's even going to do anything with it. He goes, my car's already got a couple of dents and scrapes. And uh, so it was all good at the end. There was some screaming and shouting actually between the, the truck that backed into us and the car that hit us. And uh, that got a little awkward, but we got that situation calmed down and got back here and got the poker game going. Um, this is me after eight to 10 gin and tonics. I don't know what this LLC thing is. Just me being goofy. And that is me very hungover the next day, sad and heading home. Anyways, um, what an uh, what an experience! Um, thank you to the uh, to the LLC for the invite, and um, yeah, it's certainly something I won't uh, I won't forget, and I appreciate being a part of. So with that, um, I know I'm supposed to be on if 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 call lasers are supposed to have uh, tomorrow night. We're supposed to have a, a show with all of us on to talk about more experiences, share more pictures. So anyways, we will see everybody later.